innovation and, and dry ice blasting kind of go hand in hand. You find new applications for dry ice blasting. As a result, the, the equipment uh, that we use for dry ice blasting is, is constantly changing. The dry ice blasting process relies on a unique characteristic of, of dry ice, that is that it disappears on impact or sublimates. It goes directly from a solid to a gas. And if you use it as a media, you don't create any secondary waste when you're, when you're dry ice blasting as opposed to sand blasting where you do have sand as a byproduct of the cleaning process. We specialize in oil and gas, power generation, food processing, and historic and disaster restoration. But uh, last year we found a really unique niche, cleaning smoke damaged books, something that's never been done before. When we clean delicate things like the smoke damage books, we bring out some equipment that uses sugar sized granules of dry ice and low pressures, and we call that dry ice dusting. Very delicate process. There's so many applications, I don't even know how to begin describing them. There are just lots of applications medical applications, architectural applications, automotive, y you name it. It's very exciting to go from dry ice blasting wood windows to power generation equipment to swimming pools with black granite. It's, it's very exciting to see the diversity of the technology. We do interesting projects for the most part and it's not hard to keep our people motivated. I like that it's a small company, um, it's kind of like a mom and pop, not a whole lot of politics like you have with a you know, major corporation. It's really nice to work for them. So I work for a larger company who does dry ice blasting too, and that company didn't care for their employees' safety or, or health, and this company does. My favorite job so far for Cold Sweep is probably the Salt Lake City Capitol job. The state capital project that we worked on last year and that we have more work to do later this month, removing lead-based paint from all the decorative railings and stairs and some of the marble surfaces in the state capitol was an honor here, you know, to, to be a part of basically history with our cleaning process up there. That, that was a very interesting project and continues to be an interesting project. I think the people of Utah will be excited about what they're going to get when that project is done. The environmental benefits that uh, accrue to the dry ice blasting process are important to many of our customers that are concerned about A, the environment, or B, you know, contamination of their facilities. Everywhere you look, there are environmental applications for this technology. The Pioneer Generating Station, we cleaned two generators for Pacificor there. The results were dramatic. In fact, they were dramatic enough that they started bringing in people from the Corps of Engineers and from Weber Basin Water and other organizations to see what dry ice blasting could do for them. So they, it, was, it was nice to have those folks basically help market our services here on, on their project. It was great. Currently, we're uh, pursuing turning the, the business into a franchise. I think there's so much opportunity here. There's more opportunity then just one small company or division can take care of and uh, we think the best way to grow the dry ice blasting business is through franchises. Cold Sweep has been privileged to work uh, with some of the most respected names in business and uh, we would be honored to do the same for you. We're just happy that we were able to receive this award. We're obviously very honored and it's quite a recognition for a small company like ours. We are, I, I just can't say thank you enough. Kudos to this year's Entrepreneurial Success Award winner, Cold Sweep. This award is sponsored by America First Credit Union.